Hello, Web3 TV. I'm Lisa Amnegard, and we are at the Global Blockchain Show 2024 here in Dubai. And joining me right now is Chetan, VP of Exelor. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I really like Exelor name. You have to tell me a little bit more about what you guys are doing. Yeah. Thank you for the name. Actually, that's a, I would say, a very quirky name, and we really like that as well. Does so, it stand for anything? It's for excellence and exploration. Ah, uh, it makes so sense. So that's sense. kind of the values that we stand by. It's especially when you explain what you guys do, I think it's really cool. So can you tell our audience what sure. you guys do? So Excelor, we are an AI product engineering company. We are a still new and young company. We started about one and a half year back. We, uh, we were born in AI era, so that's something that we specialize in. We have about 100 people team. We work, our headquarter is in India, and we also have an office in Netherlands. And we keep on coming to AI blockchain show in the Middle East for, because we have a lot of clients who are based out of here. Mm. So why do you think the UAE is so important for AI? I think UAE is kind of a hub of innovation right now. There are a lot of companies who are doing innovative things over here and we want to be present and be seen here. So that's why it's really important to be there here in UAE. And especially when it comes to AI, I feel like every yeah. company right now, they're implementing AI systems into their businesses. And you are kind of simplifying these mundane tasks that nobody wants to do. Definitely. So tell me on which sectors do you work in and where do you think your product will have the most usability? Sure, thank you. Uh, so what we think with AI is AI is a technology, but it has endless possibilities. So the kind of products that we are working with is are company agnostic. It is like solving generic problems, which are there with every company. Like if I talk about customer service. So customer service is not related to any specific company or sector. Every organization, every business have to serve their customers. So that's a use case that we have. We have an AI-based virtual assistant which can take care of more than 90% of the tasks which a customer service agent will do. Yeah. Which includes interacting to your customers through voice, through data, through text, through any channel. It could be phone, it could be your website, it could be WhatsApp. It can schedule an appointment. If somebody is having an issue, it can create a tickets. It can give a lot of business and analysts and insights about the organization, about the customers who are landing in. Yeah. So ultimately what we want is that AI should be able to take care of these mundane tasks of customer service. So that's one application that we have. We have some other products also, like for offline businesses. Now, most of the businesses in offline have in CCTV footage, but they have CCTV only for compliance part. It's not serving any purpose right now. It's not giving any use to the business. Mm. So we are using AI to generate data from that CCTV, which could be something related to uh, security, like something a fire hazard. It could be about your customers, how they are feeling, what are their emotional expression, which products are they spending time with, where are they most of the time, how they are behaving, if you have any kind of litter. So it can analyze which a human, like it's like a human who's watching the CCTV at all point of time okay. and giving you insights on top of it. So kind of like a, a yeah, like security guard almost. Not only security guard, that's I would say a hygiene. Okay. Security is only one part of it. We want to make it fruitful for business by, by giving business insights. Okay. Like when your okay. customers are coming into a retail store, which products are they interacting with the most? Uh, which okay, zones okay. they are spending most of the time? Is there any customer who's looking for help when there's nobody around? Yeah. So those kind of use cases. Because the one thing I've come across some of these AI chatbots on, for example, on a company's website that will assist you with certain things, but currently they're quite limited. So what are you guys doing to sort of make these chatbots more interactive and help help customers who have more complex problems? Definitely. So I think that's a great point because we have already al always had these chatbots. I think it's been more than 10 years that we yeah. have chatbots. But I would call them, if I told AI as a smart chatbot, those were dumb chatbots. Those were rule-based. Yeah, there are only certain things that you can talk to it. There are certain actions that it can perform. But now with the advent of AI, it is very human friendly. It's mm -hmm. like talking to a human. You can talk in your own language. It supports 80 plus languages. You can talk in a way that you want to. You can call, you can articulate your query in a different way yeah. and you'll be able to understand. And it's not limited to a specific function. You can talk to it about anything and it will be able to respond to you about the business that it is working for. So do you also work with deep learning to sort of train the, your AI system to become more intelligent as it goes? Yeah, so actually when we say that the AI agent is for a business, it needs to understand more about the business rather than the world. It already understands about the world. So how we have created it, like for example, you have an online business and you have a website. Yeah. You just give it your website, it will be able to go through entire all the pages that you have on the website and learn by itself. 
you don't need to do any task to train it because as a business you put a lot of data on your website about you about your services about where are you located about your story you don't need to do anything just give it the url it will go through the data and learn by itself so we want okay. to make it very easy for everybody who is not very technical without any coding or any technical expertise they should be able to use the power of ai then only it will be able to have maximum impact it should not be limited to technical technology people so for example if it's a website like say i have an online retail store for example and what kind of task can it perform then like for example if, if i'm looking for a, a christmas dress and i want a specific size yeah. that's some a task that it can do yeah right so but there are some limitations which the search have today like if you go on a retail website and search for it it will only try to miss the uh, find the right keyword if you ask for a red dress it yeah. will see which uh, product have read into it and give you that it does not understand the context of it like if you okay. say i want a red dress for christmas it does not understand okay. it will only give you red dresses do you think that's something that's going to evolve coming forward do you think that these chatbots will also have a, a, some a, a cognitive thinking definitely i think it's still evolving it's still a new technology as i said we have a host of lot of possibilities that it can do and i believe till now as a customer we have had a very bad customer experiences mm -hmm. so if i talk in a offline sense your online website is your store and i don't have anybody to you go in a store and you don't have anybody to talk to you and help you out that's kind of experience that we are getting online yeah. i have to search myself i have to get my find find my way through so should all these customer service people be afraid that their jobs might be lost no i think it is these are like kind of tools which will help you do more and evolve more okay. they might have to progress and do those tasks which require some kind of human intervention Yeah. and they won't have to do repetitive tasks which the ai can help yeah so it's kind of a complementing their task so that they can do more and give better experience to their customer and give this mundane and regular task to the ai okay okay and which industries do you think this will benefit the most i think for the ai virtual assistant the industry which will benefit most because this is ai based and this is online this is digital presence so the companies and industries who rely a lot on their digital presence who interact with their Pers customer digitally will okay. benefit the most out of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Same here. Thank you for having me. And enjoy Dubai. How long are you here for? I'm here for a week. A week. Uh, so there are a few business meetings, and then I'll be going around just soaking in the sun. Yeah. So and make sure to make the most of your time. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank and you. And we'll be bringing you more interviews. So make sure to keep on watching. I'm Lisa Amnigard, and you're watching Web3 TV.